Hello, my lovelies. It has been a minute since I have been on. But we are going to do a New Year's Eve look today. So I'm going to use an awesome... Hello, Malia. I am going to be using an awesome sparkly eyeshadow. So we're going to kind of do like a little smoky yet sparkly eyeshadow look. We'll see if I can do the smoky look. Because I have hooded eyes, it's so much harder for me um, to do the um, to do the really smoky look and have it look good. So we're going to give it a shot. But the sparkle is going to make it all that better. <laughs> Malia, what are you guys doing for New Year's Eve today? We're just at my mom's house. We are going to hang out here. And we're going to play games and I don't really drink much anymore. I don't know why, like after having kids, um, I just, I don't know. Like I haven't really, I mean, I'll drink sometimes, don't get me wrong, but I just don't drink as much as I used to. I don't like the feeling that it gives me for some reason. So um, I may have like one beer or something because then we have to... Um, Oh my gosh, Malia, I think last year after having Grayson and Hudson, last year was the first year that we actually made it, <laughs> that we actually made it um, until, until 12. And um, what was I going to say? Until we made it until 12 and um, we like went outside and banged pots and pans and all pots and pans and all that stuff. So um, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start with my eyes instead of my um, instead of my makeup. Um, so please feel free to share this video. Would absolutely love it. Would love to spread the love. You know what I always say. My saying is spread the love like herpes, um, but not like really. Um, and then um, hey Amanda, hey Bonnie. Um, and so I'm going to do my eye makeup first because I'll probably have a little bit of fallout. Sounds good, Malia. I'll probably have a little bit of fallout. Um, but, um, yeah. So what was I going to do? I wanted to put on some music while we get ready and hang out. Hello, Kylie. Um, let's see what we're going to listen to. I don't want to listen to any more music, Christmas music. So we'll listen to some Kane Brown. Okay, so when you get on, please just feel free to say hello and where you're watching from if you're new. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my eyeshadows right here. So these are all mascara eyeshadows and I am going to go in with a light color first. And sorry, all my stuff is kind of like, actually, we got to put primer. No, we'll put primer on after. So um, all my stuff, hey, Raven. Um, hey, Janine. Um, so all my stuff is actually just like everywhere. So just bear with me. We've been traveling. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go in with my, um, yes, I am, Brittany. I'm going to go in with uh, my vanilla dust. And I'm going to just dust that onto my lids for our base. So this vanilla dust you can use for um, just a nice matte base on your um, your eyes. You can also use it for a setting powder. Let's go in and do our brows first because sometimes the eyes can look a little funky if we don't have the brows going. So I'm going to take my Know Your Angles brush. I'm going to go in here with the color Cola. So all of these right here, as you guys know, these are all highlight and contours. They all have multi-purpose. So this color right here is Cola. I'm going to use that as our, sorry, no, we're going to use Astoria. I'm going to take Astoria and we're going to use that as our brow color. So it's always so crazy like coming back home because honestly, whenever we come back home, like I feel like nothing's changed. Like everything looks the same. The only thing that's different is that um, they're building like houses everywhere. Um, yes, I am Anastasia. We are in Oregon. We're going to be leaving tomorrow. Um, but so yeah, there are they're building houses everywhere. Um, and it's so crazy because 
the amount that we pay for houses in California, you could almost get like a mansion here in um a mansion in or in like Oregon, no joke. I want to see. Okay. I know it's going to be a little bit dark, but I just want to do this first cuz that bright light's kind of washing me out. Um so um Yes, Malia, my mom lives in the same house. And you know what I always remember, Malia, remember when you came over one night and I think that's like when that 1-800 music now was um was really in and you could like call on the phone and you could listen to music. And I remember one time, um Malia, you guys, she was staying the night at my house and um she like finally fell asleep and I literally stayed up like all night listening to that 1-800 music now, just listening to music. And then you could like listen to it before um before you bought it. <laughs> so it was funny. I'm so excited who, okay, so tell me you guys how, tell me in one word how your, <laughs> we were so cool. Oh my gosh, going to Crossler and picking our lockers and yeah, it was funny. And then like, so Malia, you guys, I've known Malia forever. So we went to, believe we went to, um, by Raven. Um, I believe we went to, did we go to elementary school too? I know definitely Crossler and Sprague. And then, um, like I told you guys, I kind of like was not like, I don't know, like wasn't really, I just didn't really turn into um, like a nice person. I thought like my shit didn't stink and um, I don't know. So, but um, I know that me and Malia, I don't think we really hung out in the same crowd in high school, but I caught back up with her because Malia used to work. I hope you don't mind me spilling all this, Malia, but I worked at this mall called Lancaster Mall in our, in our um, hometown. And I worked in Lancaster Mall. I literally just met with an old friend from high school yesterday and told her and I was kind of like like I was kind of like catching it like re like remembering so I worked in that Lancaster mall for six years you guys like literally no joke I worked at three stores I started at this store called fuel then I went to the cell phone place and then I ended up going to journeys and Malia worked at um worked at Victoria's Secrets there so, and then the funny thing is now is Malia literally, okay, Brittany, I'll have to read it after um, I'm done, but thanks. I did see that. Um, so, um, um, Malia and me like literally only live like probably not even like an hour away from each other. Um, so it's just crazy how like things come full, like just things come full circle. And like I tell you guys too, like I really believe that. God brings people like in and out of our lives for certain reasons. You may not know what that reason is at first, but it like will always, you know, come, it will always come around. So this is as best as I'm going to do my eyebrows. You guys, hey, Nicole, um, they kind of look a little bit funky, but I'm like super shaky today. I don't know if it's because of like, it's 2018. For some reason, I just have like a, a lot, a lot, a lot of anxiety today. Um, but I'm ready for 2019. There's some big changes coming in 2019. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Like, I literally cannot wait. I just got a phone call yesterday that I've been waiting for. And um, me and the person are playing phone tag right now. So as soon as I talk to that person and um, get that phone call situated, um, I will let you know how that goes. Okay. So we are going to go in with this color right here, which is the color cupcake. And I'm gonna take cupcake and I'm literally just gonna start kind of like spreading that all over the eye, just how we did with the vanilla dust. But I'm just ready for 2018, you guys. 2018, or 2018, 2019 is going to be my year. What is everyone's big plans for 2019? And I'm not going to say like what's your New Year's, what's your New Year's resolutions, but like what are your New Year's goal? What are your 2019 goals? Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the color. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go in with the color. Pup. If I 
can get it out. These nails are so long, you guys. I'm not getting long nails ever again, and two of them have already broken off. So I'm going to go with the color Pup. I'm just going to take this on my brush, and we're just going to focus that, again, on the crease and outer crease. Um, 2019, I'll tell you a little bit about what I want my 2019 to be. So I want my 2019 to be a year of growth and learning and a year of doing what I say I'm going to do and really just focus on like actual smart goals and really put them down to a T and really achieve those. I want to live a life of um, fulfillment and purpose and live a life of freedom like God has intended. And I really feel that that is um, starting off by doing what doing what you you love and not staying in something. Oh my gosh, that's a good one, Anastasia. Um, I want. Um, I, I was going to say, you guys, don't stay in a situation um, if you are, don't stay in a situation um, being like unhappy. Um, I always feel like life is way too short to be um, doing something that you don't want to do. This was like my, this was like my 2018 ep epiphany, I think is what you call it. Okay, I'm going to go in with the color bird, you guys. I'm just going to kind of focus this on the outer V. Um, cause I'm not going to be, even though I'm going to be doing like a smoke, like a smoky silvery eye, I don't want to use too much black. Um, so my, um, okay, now I need to turn this on so I can see better. Um, my, um, my epiphany for 2018, you guys, um, was life is too short to stay in, um, just to stay in a, a season or stay in a place or stay in a career position or anything if you're not happy. Um, and like I've told you guys before, that book, You Are Free, God intended us to live a free life. And I've told you guys this before, but, you know, think of a time when you actually felt free. Like whether it was when you were a young kid and you were opening Christmas presents on Christmas or when you were riding your bike and you could feel the wind through your hair and you honestly didn't have a care in the world. That is how God has intended us to live our lives. So 2019, I really want you guys, depending on who you pray to or who you believe in, spiritual power, a higher being, God, I want you guys to really focus on what would make you happy? If money wasn't an issue, what could you do for the rest of your life that would make you extremely happy? Um, and um, what does that look like to you? And then just go out and chase it, you guys. You have to make a leap. You just have to make a leap of faith and just have faith that everything is literally going to work itself out. Um, I know one big thing for me and you guys, we've talked about this before is my mascara business. Um, you guys, I saw the change that this made in my friend Whitney and I knew that I wanted to be a part of it. And I will be completely honest with you guys. I did not think that, um, that this was going to get as big as it is because I went into the mindset of this is just going to be another one of those. Um, one of those companies where I do really good for like two weeks. I'm going to take the color trust you guys and I'm just going to kind of darken this outer V and also put it on my, um, my eyelid, like, or like along my lash line. Um, you guys, um, I just thought I'm going to be gung ho with this for a little bit and then I'm literally going to give up and I'm not going to do anything with it. That's the mindset that I came into doing this. And even though I went in with it with a with a, a horrible mindset, I still took that leap of faith. And it's taken me to so, it's just really taken me to so many things. And when it comes to, you know, my part of feeling fulfillment and what I want to do, I get to do that with this. I get to make women feel beautiful. I get to, um, I get to coach women on building a life by design. I, um, you know, I get to do what makes me feel fulfilled. 
And I am now a firm believer that money is not everything. You guys, money can make you happy for just a little bit, but money truly isn't everything. So that's kind of where I've come to. I've also kind of come to where I kind of want to be a minimalist. And I was talking to a friend yesterday. Um, I kind of just like want to get rid of, obviously I can't get rid of my makeup. You guys know like my makeup's just my makeup. So I can't get rid of that. But I would just love to get rid of everything. And I kind of want to live in a smaller house. And I just want to only need what I need. And it's like, I just want to do this big cleansing, you guys. Like this big cleansing of things. I don't know what I don't know what it is or why I'm feeling this way, but I feel like I just have so many things on my shoulders that are just weighing me down that I just really need to get rid of. And if that's starting with going through my house and get ridding, getting rid of junk and stuff that I don't need, it so is Anastasia. It so is. Money is definitely the root of all evil. Okay, so now that I have that, you guys, I'm just going to kind of take the back of my, this is an eyeshadow everything brush, and I'm just going to kind of start blending. Okay. And we will finish, we'll finish the bottom eyes after we're done doing like our face makeup. I can never really get black to look good on me, but this isn't black. This is more like a, a really dark color. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so now I'm gonna keep my eyes open, you guys, and I'm gonna go in with that same color and I'm just gonna kind of go on my, my hood. So if you have hooded eyes, you want to bring up your, um, you want to bring it up just a little bit higher so you can see it. What are your guys' family traditions for, um, for, um, New Year's Eve. Do you guys like bang pots and pans? Do you do like fireworks? What do you guys do? We are a pots and pans family. So it's so exciting. We got to finally do like bring the boys into it last year. And we um, take the pots and pans and we um, we like just bang pots and pans. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So that's what our that's what our family does um, for New Year's Eve. So how about you guys? What are some of your family traditions that you guys do when it comes to bringing in the new year? Hello. Mom, you gotta come play the pick game. Okay, I'm almost done oh, doing my makeup and I'll come. Last time, last time I, um, right now I just beat Nana. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Cause I got eight coins, she got 12. Wow, you did beat her, huh? Yeah. That's cool. Okay. I'm going to take my glitter glue to face because we're going to now we're going to put the glitter on. Mom. What? I want to say hi. Okay. Hi. I'm five. Oh, yeah. You're five now, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> you're sleeping, Renee, and you're going to make sushi. My husband um, is making, my husband and my mother are making um, bean soup. So they took the rest of the ham and, um, the ham bone and they're making a soup out of it so I'm just taking that and I'm just kind of focusing like right here um, and just kind of dragging it into where that darker color is and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dip into this color right here which is Shenandoah and we're gonna pack on this glitter oh my gosh no Renee that's not good so I literally just dip it in there, pull it up, and then I'm just gonna start packing. 
and you can see how good this glitter sticks to that glitter glue and also I'm just pressing it on and how like pigmented and soft that glitter is you see that ah thank you Catherine so that's that I'm gonna just add a little bit more kind of just bring it in out I'm obsessed with these glitter eyeshadows, you guys. Okay. So we have one eye done. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna do the other eye. I'm just gonna take a little dot, like seriously, that's all that you need. And we're just going to put the other side. Hey, Danielle, how's it going? Danielle, I wanna tell you. <laughs> I literally have your box here in Oregon. I've been carrying it around. I have three boxes that I've been carrying around needing to send and I do it all the time. I am though I always tell my girls whenever I do giveaways and they win, I'm like, I have them and they're boxed. You guys will get them. It's just a matter of when I go to the stinking um oh whatchamacallit post office. I'm horrible. Okay, so again, we're just focusing that glitter glue in the inside of our eye and kind of just dragging it out over that darker part and then just turning the brush around and dipping it into that silver. So again, this silver is called Shenandoah and you can click on my link on my business page and it will take you right where you need to go. Oh, Renee, you're so funny. And I'm just going to look to see that they're kind of matching a little bit. I think I need to bring this one over a little bit. You know, I will. I think we'll make it till midnight. We got a bunch of fun games that we brought up. My mom has some fun games too. So um, I think we will be playing some games and I think what we're gonna do is we may just have the boys take like a um like a late nap so they can make it too okay so now that we have that I kind of just want to darken up this out outer side so I am gonna go in with the color Salem oh my gosh Anastasia doing what and I'm just gonna kind of focus Salem and just kind of blend it into that shadow. Okay. And then just kind of blend it up. And with this this black Salem color, it is gonna have a little bit of fallout, but that's okay. That's why I'm gonna do my makeup after my eyes. Okay, so now let's take our big blending brush and just start blending. And I'm just blending this and it's actually not even pulling off that sparkle, which is good. Okay. Oh my gosh, the boys didn't get up. Hudson got up at, I think like almost nine o'clock, 10 o'clock today. Grayson came with me to do our Starbucks run. And we were up about nine something, 8.45 I think. Laid in bed for a little bit. Hudson can sleep. That boy is definitely a sleeper. Oh, thank you, Danielle. I'm trying, that's my goal for next year is to kind of come a little bit more out of my shell and really try some new looks. So I have been watching some um, Instagram and also some um, Instagram and YouTube videos. Okay, 
I'm also gonna go in, I'm gonna take a, a little bit of this glass slipper and I'm going to just kind of blend that in kind of have it fade into that black. I have not heard of her. I'll have to take a look at her. So again, I'm just taking glass slipper to have it kind of fade into our Salem color. There, I think that looks a lot better. Okay. So let's brush off the excess and then let's, woohoo, let's do um, the, um, we'll do the face and then we'll finish up with the eyes. So let me go grab, um, I, let me grab a um, wipe really fast. No, it doesn't at all. Um, the, some of the glitter just fell a little bit, but no, it doesn't make it feel sticky. You want to know what makes my eye feel sticky? And I'm kind of bummed that I can't ever really get them to work. But the others are like such a upkeep is, um, hey, Susanna is um, la uh, lash glue. So whenever I use lash glue, the lash glue is what really makes my eyes stick when I blink. But this glitter glue, if you just focus it on the eye, it's not going to cause that. Okay, clean that up. Okay, so we have our eyes cleaned up. So let's go ahead. Um, Anastasia, let's do it. I would love to do that. There is a couple really good devotional books. One is Jesus Calling. That's really good. It has a lot of great devotionals in there. There's also one called, I think it's Unbreakable by Christine Kane. That has a lot of devotionals in there. So let me know and I would definitely do it. I have a Zoom account so we can do um, a Zoom, we can do a Zoom call so everyone can see each other. I'm gonna go in with this Arbonne RE9 Advanced Prep Work. This is Soft Focus Fail. This is just like a primer. Especially since you wanna start spiritual growth, Anastasia, that is the way to go. And I'm just gonna focus this all over. I like this because it kind of just makes your face like one, like it just really gives it this nice, almost like filter look and just really gives it a nice base to put on makeup. Oh, that is a good one too. I have that, Susanna. I need to do that. Oh yes, they do, huh, Anastasia? I forgot. That one does too. Okay, so since I don't know what's going on, I have a little bit of darkness in, gosh, I'm like, there's like not, I do have a little bit of darkness on my under eye. So I'm gonna take, where are you at? Are you right here? Hold on just a second, girlies. Yep, I'm gonna take this color here, which is Frenchie. It is a lip and cheek, but I'm gonna use it for my under eye first to just kind of counteract this darkness that I have. So again, this is Frenchie lip and cheek, but I'm going to use it as a color corrector for under my eye. Again, that's what I love so much about these mascara creams is they can be used for so many things. Oh my gosh, Anastasia, it's good to see yours. It's been forever, but 2019 is gonna be totally different, totally busy, 
So more lives from me, you will see. So let me know about the um, devotional, okay? Okay, so let's go in with our main colors. So I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which is the color mango. And I'm just gonna cover up some of these spots that I have. Anyone who's come on, feel free to share this video. Also, if you're new watching, just say hello new and where you're from. We love to meet new people. And when you get on, just say hello. Ah, thank you, Malia. Give those babies big kisses and hugs for me, please. Okay, so now that we have those covered up, I'm gonna flip this brush around. This is our detail hack brush, and I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which is the color candlelit, or sorry, sandy, and we're gonna just start pouncing this on our face. One cool thing about this is see how I hit pan? What I can do is I can actually warm that up on my, um, I can warm it up on my, um, my uh, whatchamacallit, on my hair straightener and then it will melt it and it will level it out so I can get the most use out of my um, my um, highlight. So I'm not like digging and scraping at the sides. Yeah. What? In just one minute, can I finish doing my makeup? So see how I'm just pouncing this on. I'm not going to like rub it. And I'm just going to bring that down my neck. And then again, I'm just going to pounce up here. Where are you driving to, Robin Salem? Okay. Now that I have the coverage that I want with this, I'm gonna go in with the color Candlelit right here, which is a lighter color, and I'm just going to dab that over the Frenchie and see how it just really color correct that darkness under my eye. bring it up this is also going to help us to clean um clean up the edges of our of our makeup too i should probably do my eyeshadow first i'm going to go with just a little bit lighter color just to kind of get it more of a brighter eye and just kind of focus it more in the corner and the outer part okay now comes the thumb part which is the um the um which I'm gonna call it contour. So I'm gonna go in with our 30 second hack brush. I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which is the color olive. I'm just gonna dip that in there. I'm gonna find where my contour is. So if you can kind of look, can you kind of see how I just have this natural shadow right here? That's kind of where I wanna follow. <laughs> Thanks, Krista. That's where I kind of wanna follow that natural contour line. And with this contour, I'm just enhancing that a little bit. And then again, just over here. Now with this, I am going to rub in a little bit because I am going to um, push this up. because so we want it to enhance and really push up those cheekbones. Okay. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm gonna go in back with my detail hack brush. Did she, Krista, what'd she think of it? She really liked them? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yes, I know Kara 
um, the founder of Mascara, sent some to Toddy. If you guys know who Toddy is or watch um, YouTube, she's a big beauty guru. And I last time she did an unboxing and Kara, our CEO, sent her some... Um, sent her some products to use. So that makes me happy that she liked them. That's really good when we can use that type of um, like networking and stuff, especially in this beauty world. Okay, so once I have all that stuff, now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to blend out with my, um, with my beauty blender, my perfecting sponge. And I always just start with under my eyes. And this is just gonna kind of help the cream to just mold and melt all together. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm telling you, they do blend really well. There's something about cream makeup and I actually, um, oh, thank you, Palmita. I actually, my mom, she used this and didn't like it. This was the Your Skin But Better CC Illumination. I really liked this. I liked how it gave me a really dewy glow because you guys know that I'm obsessed with like that really dewy look. But um, I just didn't like the way it sat on my face, you guys. It, there's just something different about mascara um, than using regular um, foundation now. Even though I still have a lot of favorites when it comes to, um, oh, this needs to get fixed. I have a lot of favorites when it still comes to foundation, but um, yeah. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm gonna go in, sorry, I keep on going back and forth because the lighting's like so crazy. So I'm gonna go in and we are going to use my Bella bronzer. I'm just gonna take it with our B squared brush and I'm just gonna put it on top of where my contour is. So I'm just gonna kind of take this where the sun would naturally hit. And again, I'm just putting it on top of my contour. This is just gonna help add some color into our skin. And then you can literally just use this brush to blend it all out. So let's go in with a so we're gonna go in with Frenchie and Hollywood. We're gonna mix those two today. These are lip and cheeks. And what I do now is I've been starting instead of going on the apples of my cheeks, I've been starting kind of behind the apples of my cheeks and I've been bringing it back into my contour. So they're not really exactly right there. I feel like when I start them on the apples of my cheeks, they just kind of turn out a little bit funny. Okay, and I'm just gonna turn that around and just kind of start blending that in. And I also bring it back to my where my contour is. I guess my mom didn't wanna wait for me to go to the store. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with Pearl Illuminator. And we're going to put that on the tops of our cheekbones. And just kind of pounce that on. I am Robin. We leave tomorrow. We've been here since Thursday. Okay. So now that we got this look done, let's go ahead and finish with our eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I need to blend this part out right here. It's kind of looking a little funky. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, so we're gonna go in with, ouch, gosh dang it. We're gonna go in with the color basic first. And we're just gonna kind of focus this. I know, isn't this glitter amazing? I'm obsessed with it. We're just gonna put this on our under eye and just kind of smoke it out.
I'm telling you guys, I thought I was going to be able to do these long nails and no, no, no. It hurts so bad when one of them gets, um, like bent. <laughs> okay. So we have that on our under eye kind of smoked out. We're going to go back in with that Salem color. We're going to smoke out our under eye. And just take this brush. Today when I took Grayson to um, Starbucks with me, I um, I took him around to um, a couple of the, I showed him the elementary school, one of the elementary schools that I went to. I showed him, um, I showed him one of the houses that, a couple of the houses that I used to live in. I was like, you know, mommy used to live in this house right here, right? And he's like, no way. And I'm like, yep. And I went to this school right here. I'm using the color unicorn for my um, eyebrow, um, eyebrow highlight. I was like, I used to go to this school right here. And then I was like, see this place right here? This is where mommy used to get babysat. And it's so funny because the babysitter still, she still does babysitting there. So the lady who used to babysit me when I was in second and third grade still babysits. Okay. I'm going to go in with a black coal eyeliner. What I'm going to do, you guys, is after this, I am going to, um, I'm going to post a little, like a little saying. These spoolies are like amazing for everything. I'm going to post like a little saying and I want you guys to um, put on there like what one of your New Year's resolution goals is. I know it's so crazy. I was like, do you like it up here? I was like, do you like it better than California? And he's like, I do. He's like, I want to live here. I'm like, maybe one day. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and set our face. I'm going to actually just put a little bit more highlighter on. I'm going to use one of our new highlighters that we have. And I think I'm going to use the color Glamazing, which is right here. And I'm just going to use this brush. I don't have a lot of my brushes. Sure. Um, Anna, Chris, I will send that to you. I'll send you my link. I want to see if you guys can see this. I don't have the right kind of brush, so it kind of stinks a little bit. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put on our mascara. I love these glitters. I can't wait to get the other ones. There's so many great glitters, you guys. And they literally go on so good. And they last all day. Ah, thank you, Anna Chris. Thank you. I would say, honestly, though, one of my 2019 New Year's, New Year's goals is to learn how to properly put on Fake eyelashes and have them work and not look funky. <laughs> Has any of you guys watched the show Lethal Weapon? It's, I don't know what channel it's on. We've been watching like, like the episodes of it on Hulu, I think. Um, if you guys are into like CSI or like crime videos like that, I would definitely do you, Robin. 
Um, I, you can teach me then. I would definitely recommend watching it. It actually is really good. Rocky got me into it and I'm obsessed with it. So today we are definitely not going to do a red lip with this look. You guys, it was so funny. I think I embarrassed Rocky like something awful. So we went, um, I wore like, I, I used this, this eyeshadow and did like a red lip look with it. And, um, I was like trying to wash it off, wash it off, wash it off. It would not come off. <laughs> so I go in the bathroom. I would walk in first and Rocky's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I have to go. He's like, dude, you look like, um, you look like Joker. You should see your face. And I'm like, are you serious? I was like, I literally like washed a bunch of it off. It, that red lipstick. Yes, it is, Anna Chris. It is. Um, it, um, what was I going to say? It w looked horrible. Like I could not get that red off for the life of me. One thing I want to let you guys know too is mascara, um, we are having our second birthday and they are actually doing something really awesome for anyone who wants to join. I'm not sure what the freebies are yet, but I will know and they don't ever do this ever. Um, mascara is not big about um, like, you know, if you sign up, we give you this. Um, like I don't make money when you guys sign up. Um, so they're really against that, except when it does come to our birthday. So they did something last year. So I will let you guys know what's going on this year. Um, but they are going to do something for, um, they are going to do something for um, anyone who does want to sign up as a new artist on one day only. So I'll let you guys know what that date is. Um, Anna Chris, I'm not definitely sure how much percentage it is. I can look it up, but I do know that our makeup is highly pigmented um, when it comes to all of our 3D foundations, our highlighters and all of that. Um, so I can actually show you some swatches um, and let you know. So I'm just going to blend out you guys this contour that I did on my lips. And I just contour around my lips just to make them look a little bit more plumper. Okay. So let's go in with... We're going to use the same colors that we used on our... Um, no, we're not. We're going to use Bare and Petal. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the color Bare. And this bear I use sometimes as a blush as well as an eyeshadow base. Okay, so we're going to take the color bear. Then I'm going to go with the color petal, which is this pink color right here. We're just going to kind of focus that in the middle. Alrighty, you guys, this is the finished look. I don't know why it's dark. Is it dark to you guys? Oh, there we go. Okay. This is the finished look of my, the best that I could do New Year's Eve look. I still have a little bit of work to go when it comes to the smoky eye part, but I think the glitter actually just makes it look that much more better. So yes. I will post a picture and then if you guys have any questions about what I use, just please feel free to message me. Um, I'm not going to go into like two, you know, um, but again, if you guys have questions, message me. I really, really, truly hope that all of you have an amazing New Year's Eve and let's just really go in with a clear and focused mind of what us boss babes are going to do in 2019. I know that all of you are going to kill it. Let's just stay focused and oriented. And then also something new too that I want to tell you guys is 
I am going to start coaching women. So if going into the 2019 year, you want to be coached, please let me know. I will have three spots open for, um, for, um, the Three spots will be open for free coaching. And then um, the other, before those three are filled up, then the rest, there will be a small fee. Um, not big since I'm just starting, but I will be coaching um, women um, when it comes to 2019. So if you're interested in that, please reach out to me. Let me know. There's a questionnaire and stuff that I will have you fill out and we'll just work towards um, getting you from point A to point B in 2019 and what you're wanting it to look like. So I hope you guys have a great to our great um, New Year's Eve, and um, I hope most of you can make it up till twelve to ring in the New Year. Kiss your whoever it is, or you know. Um, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you. Oh my gosh, here we go! I'll see you next year. <laughs>